So, what do you reckon, fellas? Yeah, four right, four down. Um, so, do you think Josh's Gigantia is not a glycophyte, but a psychophyte? You know, things like uh, Drosa rotunda and Frodi and other things that grow in peat bogs, which are high in copper, you know, copper being the highest micronutrient found in most sphagnum peats and other related peat products. Uh, instead of using the glucose to reduce down the copper, and therefore extract the nitrogen and then be safe from the copper. Things like Drosa gigantia are psychrophytes and they just manage the copper and strip off the nitrogen but allowing the copper to refix the nitrogen which will explain why you have a continual supply, a non-seasonal supply uh, in, in, in unaffected by temperature gradients and things like that. Um, to a certain extent, and the colour of the plants. Does that look like the colour of Drosa gigantea? And the question is, what about Graniticola, which has the same sort of colour as Drosa gigantea? If you grow Graniticola in deep sand and maybe some sort of copper amended sand sort of thing and do this sort of stuff, do we get giant Graniticolas on the same sort of st sturdiness and stature of Drosa? Gigantia. I don't know, I'm just putting it out there for you fellas. I reckon that's probably the angle I'm going for is this. I mean, that almost looks like the colour of Drosa Gigantia. I mean, I've had a lot of experience with Drosa Gigantia, you know, in WA growing on deep sand at Canton Swamp. Not this granite apron rubbish. I think that's just an excuse to dig tubers that are down, down a couple of centimetres, whereas on deep sand, your starting point is about two metres down in the deep sand. So in other words, these plants have to grow up from those tubes every year through two metres of sand and then grow to this plant that's the size of a small Christmas tree. Can you imagine what they might have been like hundreds of thousands of years ago, millions of years ago when the climate was different? Is it a bit like horsetails? You know, when the CO2 level was higher, they can, horsetails can grow like pine trees, yeah, if not taller. I don't know, just putting it out there for you. Maybe we'll learn something about horsetails and our sort of copper angle. And our angle, because remember, Stahl said that CPs were basically glycophytes, but maybe not all CPs are glycophytes. Sometimes, maybe like the salt index, you can split them into two groups. At 